गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज नंबर एट पॉइंट फाइव विच इज अबाउट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ वेट ओके फ्रॉम लेसन नंबर एट आफ्टर फिनिशिंग दिस एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट फाइव वी विल स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट सिक्स ओके इन दिस एक्सरसाइज दैट इज इन एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट फाइव वी हैव टू लर्न three important points the first is the standard unit of weight is kilogram which is written as kg in the notation short notation okay the standard unit of weight is kilogram which is written as kg and gram is the gram notation g gram is the smaller unit of weight okay student the standard unit of weight is kilogram and gram is the smaller unit of weight second important point is 1000 gram equal to 1 kg you all know um from class 3 i think 1000 gram equal to 1 kg therefore in 3 we can write 1 gram 1 gram equal to 1 by 1000 kg okay 1000 gram equal to 1 kg therefore we can write 1 gram this is the third important point 1 gram equal to 1000 kg and when we are dividing 1 by 1000 the point will be shifted three digit up from the right side so we have we can write the result is 0.001 after three digit i have said that after three digit from the right side the point decimal point are to be is to be placed so we can write 0.001 kg that means 1 gram equal to 0.001 kg okay two important things we have to remember when we have to convert uh, kg into gram then we will multiply by 1000 we will multiply the kg by 1000 again when we are we have to convert gram into kg then gram is to be divided by 1000 okay student now we will do some um, problems first instruction is convert into kilogram convert into kilogram the in a it is given in gram unit 593 gram it is to be converted in kg i have said you that when gram is to be converted into kg we have to divide the gram by 1000 that is why 593 is divided by 1000 the unit will be changed into kg you know that there are three zeros by the side of one therefore the Uh, decimal point will be after three digit from the right side that is why it is written 0.593 okay decimal point then 593 kg in 3 in b you know that it is given 3 gram 3 gram again gram is to be converted into kg that is why 3 is divided by 1000 kg okay kg unit when uh, gram is divided by 1000 then it will be converted into kg that is why it is written 3 it is written 3 by 1000 kg and this is equal to 0.003 because there are three three zeros the point will be after three digit from the right side that is why in, in this case only there is only one digit so we have taken two digit uh, two zeros from outside to make it three digit so we can write 0.003 kg okay in c it is given that 18009 gram this is to be converted into kg so again we have to divide 18009 that is 18009 divided by 1000 kg again the point will be the decimal point will be placed up to three digit from the right side that is why it is written 8 10.009 kg in d it is given 1 kg 793 gram 
you know that kg is in 1 kg is in kg unit just we have to convert 793 gram into kg that is why it is divided by 1000 it is divided by 1793 divided by 1000 1 kg is already in kg therefore just we have to convert 793 by 1000 now 1 kg this 1 kg 1 kg will remain the same now 0.793 we can write divided by 1000 after division we will get 0 0.793 because there are three zeros, therefore point will be after three digit, that is one digit, two digit, three digit, one digit, two digit, three digit, then the point will come. So ultimately, after adding these two quantities, we can write 1.793 kg. Okay. Now in two, it is given that convert into grams. Just in A, one kg, 20 gram. 1 kg plus 20 gram we can we have separated the units 1 kg plus 20 gram now 1 kg is to be converted into um, uh, gram you know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram plus 20 gram after adding these two units we have the 1020 gram that is 1020 gram okay in b you see it is given that 0 0.306 kg this is to be converted into gram you know that when kg is to be converted into gram we have to multiply the kg by 1000 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram therefore 0 0.30 kg equal to 0 0.306 to be multiplied by 1000 and this will be converted into gram from kg now you know that by the side of one there are three zeros one two three the point will be shifted on the right side after three digit that is 306 gram okay similarly you know that in c 2.060 kg is given you again know one kg is equal to one th third gram one uh, thousand gram therefore 2.060 kg equal to we can write 2.060 multiplied by 1000 when it is multiplied by 1000 it will be converted into gram now again you see there are three zeros by the side of one so point will be shifted after three digit on the right side so we can write two there go this is one two three digit that means the whole number will be 2060 gram in D, it is given that 89.007 kg. This is to be converted into gram. Again, we know 1 kg is equal to 1,000 gram. Okay. Now, we can write 89.007 kg is equal to 89.007 to be multiplied by 1,000. And this will be converted into gram. So you see that there, there are three zeros. So point will be shifted up to three digit. That is this, 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 three digit. So we can write the whole number 89007 gram. Okay, student. Now we will do some word problem related to the measurement of weight. In three, you see that Richa bought 0 0.5 kg butter C told her mother that she has bought 50 gram butter. Was she right? If not, what should be the correct answer? Okay, read again the problem. Richa bought 0 0.5 kg butter. But she told her mother that she has bought 50 gram butter. Question is, was she right? Second is, if not, what should be the correct answer? Now, Richa bought butter equal to 0 0.5 kg. In solution, you can write Richa bought butter equal to 0 0.5 kg. Then we can convert it into gram. Then we have to multiply 100, 1000 gram. Okay, that, is, that means 0 0.50 
kg is to be multiplied by 1000 to make it in uh, gram to convert it into gram you know that there are three zeros by the side of one in 1000 there are three zeros the point will be shifted after three digit on the right side that means the result will be 500 zero zero gram but Richard told her that means Richard bought 500 gram butter but Richard told her mother that she has bought 50 gram so it is not correct actually uh, kya what Richard buy kya tha, bought, kya, bought, bought 500 gram butter but she told her mother that she has bought only 50 gram so it is not correct the correct answer is 500 gram that means the correct answer will be 500 gram butter was bought by Richa. Another word problem. Otul ordered for her for Otul ordered for 1 kg 30 gram rice. 1 kg 30 gram rice. The subkeeper weight 1.30 kg. 1.30 kg rice. Okay. For him. Did he get the correct weight? If not, what should be the correct weight? Again, read the problem. Otul ordered for 1 kg 30 gram rice. But Dukan uh, subkeeper weight 1.30 kg rice for him. That means for Otul. Did he get the correct weight? First question. If not, agar nahi hai, so what should be the correct weight? Now, in solution we can write Otul ordered for 1 kg 30 gram rice. 1 kg 30 gram rice. Okay. 1 kg 30 gram rice. But shopkeeper weight 1.30 kg rice. Now we have to convert 1.30 kg into kg and gram. This is equal to, you have separated 1 kg plus 0 0.30 kg. 1 kg into plus 1 kg. Kg to unit me hai plus 0 0.30 to be multiplied by 1000 to make it, to convert it into gram. So point will be shifted. This is equal to 1 kg plus 300 gram. That means 1 kg 300 gram. Okay, the subkeeper. 1 kg 300 gram uh, rice weight kya tha. So, Otul did not get the correct weight. The correct weight is 1 kg 30 gram. But, subkeeper weight 1 kg 300 gram. That means, the correct weight will be 1 kg 030. That means, 30 gram only. So, you can write 1 point. 030 kg okay 1.03 kg okay student now student as we have finished the exercise number 8.6 we will try to do some um, uh, sums from exercise number 8.6 then rest of the uh, sums from 8.6 will be done later or in the next class okay the so sum of the uh, some part of from exercise 8.6 we can start first 1 to 4 is not in your syllabus 1 to 4 is not in your syllabus just uh, we have to start from 5 the instruction is add just it is the simple addition 9 kg first in 9 kg 575 gram and 3 kg 869 gram these two quantities are to be added so that is why we have made two columns kg and gram first one is 9 kg 575 gram and second is 3 kg 869 that is the simple carry plus so after adding we get 13 kg 444 gram this is the answer that means after adding these two quantities we have the result 13 kg 444 gram okay similarly in b it is given that 42 kg 829 gram 75 kg 9 gram 
and another quantity is 12 kg 80 gram okay so we have made two columns kg and gram first is first quantity is 42 kg 829 gram second is 75 kg 009 gram 9 is in one place so you have to put 00 in 10 place and 100 place so 009 gram and last quantity is 12 kg 080 gram there is no 100 place number that is why we have put we have taken a zero in the 100 place after adding these three quantities we have the result 129 kg 918 gram okay now in instruction 6 we have subtract that means we have to subtract the different quantities first one 5 kg 235 gram 5 kg 235 gram is to be subtracted from 8 kg 869 gram okay so as per the um, addition we have already arranged in that uh, we have already arranged the two columns kg and gram first quantity is 8 kg 869 gram and second one is 5 kg 235 gram that means 500 5 kg 235 gram is to be subtracted from 8 kg 869 gram after subtraction we get 3 kg 634 gram in <coughs> second that is in b we see that 18 kg 600 8 gram is to be subtracted 18 kg 608 gram is to be subtracted from 25 kg 324 gram so first we have um, arrange we have make the two columns kg and gram this is 25 kg 25 kg and this is 324 gram and uh, 18 second is 18 kg 608 gram that means 8 kg 608 gram is to be subtracted from 25 kg 324 gram you see this is a borrow subtraction after uh, cutting uh, different numbers or different digit we have the result uh, after subtraction we get 6 kg 760 gram this is the result now now we will do seven number the instruction in this case is multiply this is the multiplication only in a you would see that 9.234 kg 9.234 kg this is the decimal point 9.234 kg is to be multiplied by 5 we have arranged 9.234 multiplied by 5 this is the multiplication only just multiplication you have done Uh, different types of multiplication so uh, in this way we see that the product is 46.170 kg okay 46.170 kg is the product that means if we multiply 9.234 kg by 5 we will get the product 46.17 kg similarly in b 12.568 kg 12.568 kg is to be multiplied by 8 after multiplying after multiplying uh, 8 with the 12.568 kg we have the product 100 point 100 point 544 kg 100 point this is the decimal point 100.544 kg this is the product that means if we multiply 8 with 12.568 we will get the product 100.544 kg okay now in 8 you see the instruction is divide that means divide karna hai in a 48.080 kg is to be divided by 8 48.080 kg is to be divided by 8 you can divide like this 
and the product uh, quotient is 6.010 they go 6 8 48 now you have to take the next digit 0 but before taking the 0 you have to send the decimal point on the um, quotient on the quotient side that is why 0 is a uh, point is given here and then 0 0 normal division so product is yeah, sorry, quotient is 6.010 kg. Okay. Similarly, 15.735 kg, 15.735 kg is to be divided by 5. In the similar way, they go 5, 3, 15. Then we have to take the next digit 7. But before doing that, we will shift the point on the uh, right side on the that is in the in place of quotient then we will take the next digit after shifting the point in the quotient position then we will take the next digit 7 as uh, now it is the normal division as you know everything the quotient will be 3.147 quotient will be 3.147 that means if we divide 15.735 kg by 5, then we will get the quotient 3.147 kg. Okay, student. Now, you will, your homework will be all the solved sum in your classwork copy. Okay, student. Thank you.